Tell you what, if that thumbnail's anything to go by, this'll be an interesting one. The episode opens with that fuck-ass lava lamp finally being destroyed and dismantled. Thank God. Creeps calls Conehead a traitorous wretch. How dare you try to join the interdimensional KKK? You'd think that as this series progressed, it'd get less problematic, but no. You need to be taught a lesson. Paraguay, get out of the corner so Coom Coom can go in there. Coom Coom? Oh dear. Noctis then goes back to the usual of harassing Woody and the plants. Conehead is annoyed at being sent to the timeout corner, so calls in a mysterious person to assist him. Pichuto wonders why they're still bothering with these shenanigans. Really? After all that's what's happened, it's still business as usual. Business? What are the boss baby back in business on Netflix season 2 premiere? Did the cast get lobotomized between seasons or something? The fuck is this? Basic gets shot and dies, but then that one guy from episode 37 appears and... What? Your mum is bad. <laughs> he tries to insult Squash's mother, but... <laughs> My mother's no longer with us! <gasps> Rody was the character Conehead called. Conehead thinks the zombies aren't cool anymore, so wanted to hang out with someone who he deems to be cool. So you want to be cool? Just like me. I mean, that's entirely up for discussion. That's what I'm saying, the purple zombie. Rody goes through the three steps of being cool. Step one is to insult people. That's so true. If you aren't liked, just go and personally insult people and they will like you. Trust me, it's guaranteed to work. Conehead then is tasked to insult the great and powerful Yoshi. What? How dare you insult me? I shall insult you! Your hat is stupid and orange, like that time I met the annoying orange! Hey, I'm not a f***ing apple, you f***ing This really is one of the episodes of PVZ Plush, isn't it? Better season opener than that one, though. Conehead questions as to why there was a cutaway gag. Rody tells him to insult his mother, but Yoshi has two dads. Rody is then revealed to be homophobic. What? No! Step two is flirting with the ladies. There are like five girls I know, four are plants, and one of them is my mom. <gasps> you said it! You said your mama! Even though you said I'm a But you're cool! You're cool, you don't even need the other step. Damn. Can't believe Conehead is finally cool. I wonder how he'll react to a basic compliment. He then states to feel a feeling of pure yeah. power wow. and unravel your chaos upon this world, my friend. I'm gonna unravel something a bit more continuum like. How did you do that with your voice? Thus it begins. Basic arrives and does basic things. Conehead then. Hey, Basic, I'm gonna invert your sense of direction because you suck. I suck? I'm not Monica Lewinsky. This is the first mention of political scandals in the series. Rody asks Conehead how he did that, and Conehead explains the joke. Basic will continue going up and up until up itself becomes invalid. We then get a montage of Conehead's ungodly powers manifesting upon this poor, poor world. He approaches Pea Shooter and manipulates the space-time continuum to beat him up. Pea Shooter, you wanna fight? Um, okay. Well, I won. Hey, what are you doing? Well, I won again. What is going on? The fear in Pea Shooter's voice. He steals Bucket's bucket, which angers Bucket, but Conehead begins teleporting around to piss him off. I'm legally qualified to castrate people, you know. Yeah. This is the first mention of castration in the series. We then cut to Purple and Creep still dismantling the machine. Purple wants to keep it as a chair, but... No, I told you I'm melting it and turning it into a cabinet. I need a place to hide my money from HM Revenues and Customs. Ugh, what's all that screaming about? This isn't really that surprising. Conehead has fucking burned this doomed world. This is the PVZ equivalent of Judgment Day. Conehead will judge you for your sins, and all of the PVZ plush cast have sinned. It's too late. Conehead, taking Rody hostage, begins levitating and calling Creeps in Purple his favorite guy, Singular. Conus, you trans-dimensional elf! 
Why am I a crisp baggage? No, Noctis, you can't do that to him. Conehead, please have mercy. Have mercy. <laughs> I'm cool now, and it's all thanks to this guy. Kill me, please. Conehead is broken this man he yearns for death cut it then throws a jar of broken and creeps and threatens to turn the universe into dust and watch as i turn this precious universe into dust Rody then calls conehead uncool and in response never cool eh well speaking of things that never happen how about your existence ah! Purple and Creeps have lost. This is the end of PVC Plush. Creeps demands that Rhodey's existence is restored. Oh, come on, Creepy DP. Lighten up a little. How can we lighten up when everything is gone? Well, guess we need a bit of a restart on our relationship. What do you mean a restart? <laughs> I am your guy, see? Yes, Conehead just straight up fucking instantly destroys the entire universe. Something that took Kefredric, the god of death, the abilities of the gem of the underneath, also to do. Genuinely, the most powerful fictional character Nothing compares to Conehead. Keep in mind that yet again, the thing that you are about to see is in the episode. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> and friends. Conehead just rebooted the entirety of existence in his own image. We then get an ominous foreboding shot of Conehead alone in the PVZ plush world. He assumes the roles of all the characters, like a skinwalker with schizophrenia. Purple and Creeps are somehow still alive in this new world. Purple questions Conehead. Conehead, what? Did you do? What didn't I do? I'm everyone and everyone is me. Only one of us appears in frame at a time. Rhodey is also here and states to have been here for thousands of years. This poor man please just end his suffering. Me. The real Conehead appears. Rhodey tries a last ditch attempt to defeat Conehead. Yo mama. <gasps> No, 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 no! Nah, just kidding, that's stupid. Truly a master of torment, making them think they were all finally free and rip it away from them at the last second. He then says that if they let them go, I will give you a copy of Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Yes, this is an actual plot point. Conehead then says that <laughs> Battle for Neighborville sucks, and then he flops to the floor as the true gods of this world are revealed. Hands. The gods are the hands that puppet them. The joke is that they don't like it when people criticize BFM for some fucking reason because the Redditors are some. <laughs> At least this explains why this world is so cruel and unjust. They scold Conehead for it, not liking BFN and strip him of his newfound godlike powers. Top 10 PVZ plush resolutions number 8. Expressing your dislike of the game Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville. I mean, personally, I think Battle for Neighborville as a game is not as good as the other two. Um, actually, it's its own separate thing and it is not related to Garden Warfare, so you can compare them. Okay, buddy. 
I can't compare the third person shooter spin-off of Plants vs. Zombies to the third person shooter spin-off of Plants vs. Zombies. But on its own, it's a game that you can play. You can you can play this game. On the upside, it does have the, the biggest child bullying potential out of all three of the games because you can call them funny things, which is always fun as it lets me take out my years of constant social rejection out on pre-teens in Giddy Park. Purple is very confused and asks what they are as they proclaim themselves the to be the hands of creation. Of creation. They yell at Codehead saying, get out of there, but they are talking to Codehead. We have reason to believe that you, Conehead H. Zombos, are the reincarnate of the God of Time! Yes, it is revealed that Conehead is the reincarnation of the God of Time, and was once a hand being like one of these guys, but due to the offense of episode 17, created the universe, which fucking pissed off the other two, as that gave them a massive responsibility in looking after the universe, so banished Conehead's previous life into his own creation, which inadvertently led it to being made anyway, so womp womp you dumbasses. But the second that time machine showed up, it reawakened the dormant god inside of that man, and began manifesting ever since. So basically, the universe is an unintended baby, and the gods of this world are a pair of neglectful parents. Explains a lot, to be honest. Anyway, it is then explained that they had to puppet the characters to make them alive, or they are, and I quote, charged with animal abuse. Incredible. Purple questions them. If they are being controlled, why is he speaking of his own volition? Which they just say, don't look into it. Incredible. Purple then asks if they hate the universe so much, why not just remove it? Which apparently they did try. Firstly, they tried to launch several asteroids at the Earth to remove all life and make deleting the universe morally acceptable. I don't know, but wasn't it Conehead that did that? Like he sang a whole song about like he was like blowing up shit. Or maybe the being inside of Conehead was trying to destroy its wretched creation in order to be forgiven and allowed back into a state of transcension. The police which apparently are a thing for these godlike entities, caught onto this, so they stopped. They then created Kefredric to wipe out all life, but the cops caught on again, so they concealed the evidence by sealing it away in the underneath. How did I come up with this? Why did I come up with this? Why? Please. I need therapy. Conan is sick of this lore dumping and asks to leave, but the hands say that Conan will be taken to hand prison and executed. They then reveal this book thing, which is, oh no, it's the Bible again, uh oh. This is not actually the Bible, however, and it is revealed that whatever happens in that book happens in real life. It is then revealed that all of this is just a show because they got bored, which makes no sense, as stated by Purple. So you wrote and did this entire thing? Yep. So you wrote me asking you that you wrote this? Yes. yes. So technically, you wrote Conehead to do what he just did? Yep. So it's your own fault. Yeah. So essentially... Oh, okay, you can go now. They are then just sent back to normal reality, with all of creation restored. And it is revealed that none of them remember it, except for Purple for some reason. Who? The Hand Gods. That's stupid. You're stupid. But uh-oh. What's that book? Your mum. Hi, Bar. I know what this book is. Yes, we've established that it's Conehead's mother, now can we move on? And the episode ends. Very strong start to the season this time compared to the last one. Especially compared to the first episode, which is about as watchable as staring into the fucking sun.